Today's guest is currently appearing at the Comedy Cellar right here in New York City through June 22nd. Please welcome the very funny Tom Papa. Hello. Thanks for coming to the big show. My name is Tom. I'm a married guy. Sorry, fellas. It's good being married. I like it. Enjoy it. You know, you don't want to date forever. You keep dating, you break up. It hurts. It's painful when you split. Not because of the emotions. You can get over that. It's all the secrets they take with them when they go. Very unsettling after a breakup knowing there's someone out there who knows that you like to be spanked with a naked G.I. Joe. <laughs> it's good, you can get fat, let yourself go when you're married. It's a good plus, it's in the rules. Like, I love you, you love me, we can't have sex with other people, let's eat a chocolate cake. <laughs> you want ice cream on that? Yeah, you're not going anywhere. What's the point of losing weight when you're married? The only reason you try and lose weight is to be more attractive to somebody else. That's why I don't understand guys working out in jail. I'd be the fattest chick in the big house. My wife has a belly on her right now because she's pregnant and her breasts have quadrupled in size. They're huge, they're Fs, Fs. You've seen Ds, right? E-F. She put on one of her old bras, looked like a shoestring going across the bottom. It's not even fun, it's scary. She takes off her top to come into bed. I'm like, you three, leave me alone. <laughs> she still wants to fool around, which is totally bizarre. It's like being chased around the apartment by a horny snowman. <laughs> We're getting ready though, we bought a car, which is a big deal living here in New York. It's like getting a house. We got a good garage though for just 250 a month right over in Pennsylvania. Couldn't ride the bus anymore. That's what it came down to. I hate the bus. It wouldn't be so bad if it didn't stop and pick up all those other people, but <laughs> horrible people on the bus. Everyone has a limp or a lazy eye or a tail. <laughs> it's like the garbage truck for human trash. the same feeling on the bus that I get when I shop at Kmart, you know what I mean? <laughs> that I'm better than everyone else there. You know what I mean, you're in those crummy stores, you're like, well, I'm here because it's a bargain, but these freaks, they have to shop here. I'm buying a hammer, this guy's trying on a three-piece suit. <laughs> we always think we're better than the other guy, don't we? Always, and we're not, we're no better than anybody else. When I'm on that bus looking across the aisle at a guy in a Santa hat and goggles, and he's looking back at me. We're both thinking the same thing. Jackass. Look at that guy in his goggles. He's looking back. Poor fella. He doesn't have any goggles. <laughs> Wife and I just got back from a little romantic getaway. We went to a bed and breakfast. You ever try that, a bed and breakfast? That's a creepy morning, isn't it? <laughs> Coming down, sharing coffee with all the strangers who are eavesdropping on you the night before. Well, good morning, cowboy. <laughs> you gotta do it, though, when you're in a relationship, you know? You gotta work at it. You don't wanna be part of a bad couple. Ooh, you ever hang out with a miserable couple? I know you have, because they hate each other. They won't break up, so they bring you along as a diversion. <laughs> Everything they say sounds like a fight. Everything. You want some more wine? What? <laughs> because you're there, they do that face. <laughs> <laughs> You know how you know you can stay with someone forever? If you can sleep with them. Not have sex with them, sleep with them. Because we're all disgusting when we sleep. Everyone in here, different degrees, but you're disgusting. You ever see your old pillow without its pillowcase? Come on. Looks like a 12-year-old oil rag. Apparently, as soon as we close our eyes, we're leaking syrup. My wife sleeps with her mouth wide open. Ah. Goes to sleep like an angel, ends up like a walrus. Ah. I don't know whether I should kiss her or toss fish at her. <laughs> and she does that half eye open thing just to scare the crap out of me. Ah. 
But I love her. I'll do anything for her. She's a new thing now. She wants us to role play. You ever try that? The role play? It's stupid. <laughs> like, who do you want me to be? She's like, anybody but you. <laughs> I'm with her 24 hours a day. I'm just supposed to show up. Hey, I'm the plumber. <laughs> I want to be the plumber. I want to be Batman. <laughs> Wants me to talk during sex, too. That's where I draw the line. Uh, what do I have to say? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Enjoy the rest of your show. Hey, Tom. That was hilarious. Thank you very much. Tom Pop, everybody.